Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gon. In today's video, we will talk about the volume of Spear. Right now, I'm using my app iPad instead of using my whiteboard. So if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe at the hit na rin yung bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, I'm Teacher Gon. Let's do this topic. So before we start, discussing the volume of sphere and solve some problems with regards to this topic let us define first what is a sphere a sphere is a set of points in space that are given distance r from the center this variable r is your radius this is your radius of the given sphere and with regards to the volume, the volume of a three-dimensional solid is the amount of space it occupies. Volume is measured in cubic units. You need to remember that. And to calculate for the volume of a given sphere, we will be using this formula. The formula is volume is equal to 4 over 3 times pi, this is your pi, times r cube, We're in pi is equal to 3.14. So let's try solving some problems with regards to the sphere. Sabi dito sa ating example, find the volume of spheres. So I have prepared four different examples wherein the first four examples, the given measurements here are radius. And for the next example, those are quite different from this examples. So in this first example, the value of your radius, or r, is equal to 8 meters. Going back with our formula, the formula that we have is volume is equal to 4 over 3 times pi times r cube. Remember that pi is equal to 3.3. 14. So what you will do here is, all you need to do is to substitute the value of r, radius, and pi to the given formula. And it goes like this. The volume is equal to 4 over 3 times the value of your pi, which is 3.14, and times the volume, times the value of your radius, which is 8 meters, and then to the power of 3. First thing you need to do is to simplify 8 meters cubed. 8 times 8 times 8. And that will give you the volume is equal to 4 over 3 times 3.14 times 512 meters cubed. 8 meters cubed is the same as 8 times 8 times 8. And first thing you need to do is to multiply 4 by 3.14. 4 times 3.14. And then multiply their product by 512. So that is 512. You can, you know, you can use your calculator for you to easily multiply these numbers. Or you can multiply it manually. And then their product is equal to 6430.72 and then divide it by 3 because we have 3 as our denominator and that will give us the volume of 2143.57 meter cube we will round it off into two decimal places This is the volume for item number one of the sphere with a radius of 8 meters. Remember, huh? in these two examples, the given here are the radius of a sphere. So let's move on with item number two. For item number two, the, vol the value of your radius is equal to 7. So let's say 7 units and your pi is equal to 3.14. So using the formula, volume is equal to 4 over 3, 
pi r cube. Substituting the value of your pi and radius, it will go like this. Volume is equal to 4 over 3 times 3.14 times 7 cube. First thing you need to do is to simplify 7 cube and that is same as 7 times 7 times 7. And that will give you 343. So you have this one. Volume is equal to 4 over 3 times 3.14 times 343. First thing you need to do is to multiply 4 by... 3.14 and then multiply it by 343. Their product is 4308.08 and then divide it by 3. The answer or the volume for item number 1 is simply 1436.08. Cubic units. This is the volume of item number two. So let's move on with item number four and item number three. These two examples is different from the first example, but don't worry, this one is not difficult to answer. This one is the given measurement here or this line from this line in, the, in our given figure is your diameter and we know that the relationship of the, your diameter to your radius is that radius is half of your diameter so if this is 18 meters if your diameter is equal to 18 meters meaning your radius is equal to 9 meters only so your r here is equal to 9 meters and again your pi is equal to 3.14. So what you will do here, use the formula, volume is equal to 4 over 3 times pi r cube. And that is 4 over 3 times 3.14 times 9 meter cube. And 9 meter cube is the same as 9 times 9 times 9 and that will give you 729. You have volume is equal to 4 over 3 times 3.14 times 729 meter cube. So you need to do is 4 times 3.14 times 729. And that will give you the answer of 9156.24 and then divide it by 3 and that will give you the volume of 3052.08 meter cube this is the answer for item number 3 and for item number 4 the given diameter here is equal to 8 millimeters meaning your radius is equal to 4 millimeters and your pi is equal to 3.14 using the formula 4 over 3 and then you can directly substitute your pi which is 3.14 and then 4 millimeter cube and for the 4 millimeter cube that is the same as 4 times 4 times 4 that is equal to 64 so volume is equal to 4 over 3 times 3.14 times 64 mi millimeter cube. So first thing you need to do is to multiply 4 by 3.14 times 64. And that will give you 803.84 divided by 3. And the volume of item number 4 is simply 267. 95 millimeter cube this is the answer for item number four 
So I hope you learned something from this video on how to calculate for the volume of a sphere given its radius or its diameter. So if you appreciate this video or if you learned something from this video, don't forget to like and subscribe at hit na rin yung bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, I'm Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!